Now, let's make this clear. Y'all know how I feel about the race card. And y'all know how I just feel about everything in general that's going on right now, man. We've been giving y'all some amazing updates. We've had some amazing videos on the channel. You guys have sent some of the best content for me to check out and react to with you guys. I love my beautiful patriots, my brothers and sisters around the world. We riding with the check engine light on. And these next five months, until we get to November, it's fun to get extra spicy on the channel. So put your seatbelt on. I told you, this old truck, it rides, but it got a recall on it that the airbags might not deploy. All right. But man, uh, as you can see by the title, again, y'all, we are all brothers and sisters at the end of the day. I don't care what you look like, what you smell like, where you're from, what age you are, and most importantly, what the color of your skin is. We all bleed the same. And I encourage y'all to spread that love around the world, man. Because again, we're declining at a very fast rate. We've been declining before, but at a very fast rate in 2024, we are divided, manipulated, brainwashed. You know? But uh, as you can see by the title, this is fun to get a little spicy. And I want to send a huge shout out to Jennifer that told me to check this out. But y'all know, when it comes to, you know, the presidency, the election, and people got to make this decision and all this and that, you know, everything is categorized. And sadly, we do have to throw, you know, the... The, the different races in there, you know what I'm saying? We, that's just how life is, and we can't run away from it. That's just how things are category, categorized, man, by age or race and stuff like that, you know? So, but, um, so just, just wanted to throw that in there before we get into today's video, man, that I love y'all, man, and that America isn't America anymore, and a lot of people are waking up. A lot of people now see what's going on. In 2024, more people than woke has have, have 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 waken up than ever. Especially after the uh, after the president was found guilty of Lord knows what crime. We still look millions of us, millions. I mean, probably in the billions now are still trying to figure out what crime was committed. They could have bought it seven, eight years ago. What? Seven, eight years ago. And then you gagged the president? Then you put a foot in his mouth? Now they're like, man, what could... If they could do this to the president, then guess what? They can do it to you. But anyways, let's jump into the video, y'all. Uh, I love y'all, man. And again, we're going to keep it real. We don't sugarcoat on here. But I do have to watch my words. And some of the content that we do post on the channel just because, you know, I want to keep it safe. And I don't want nobody messing with my channel. So, but y'all feel free to send me anything to react to to check out. The emails are crazy. Um, y'all been just emailing me every single day. And it's a, a lot of con consistent patriots that are sending me stuff every single, almost every single hour, you know. So I love y'all, man. Whoa, whoa, boy. Let's jump straight in. And I'll leave the original link in the description box down below. Y'all go check out Adam, man. As a black woman in America, I know I might get my black card revoked. I love Trump. God, love God bless you. I love him. Just so you know. <laughs> you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. I love Trump. And you ain't black. I love Trump. And you ain't black. As a black Trump supporter, what, yes. ma what makes you say that your blackness would be revoked? Oh, well, you know, our people, you know, supposedly speaking, he's a racist. He believes in grabbing women by the um, You know, they have a lot of things that they say, especially the media. I mean, if you're talking about fake news and things like that. But the facts are the facts. The man has done bankruptcy 10 times. He's come back from that and he's able to be able to run our country. So I really do believe in him. Um, and I do believe in his in his message. I really do. I like Trump. I love you, Trump. Amazing. Donald. Yeah. And, 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 you filed that bankruptcy so they won't come get your money. <laughs> Fun fact, y'all. Some of y'all didn't even know that. Yeah. You filed bankruptcy so they won't come get your money, protect your money. 
what's that uh that 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 uh what's that football uh, player everybody uh um be talking about man he's always in the news and he's a huge Trump supporter man y'all should see his Trump tweets uh, Antonio Brown and he just got hit uh he just filed for bankruptcy but he's again it's the way you play it it's the way you play it so they won't come get your money because he had tons of people um filing lawsuits against him oh boy and I'll, I don't know people lie the numbers don't right Trump has the numbers I love he's to hear that number oh <laughs> shit <laughs> oh, nice. Hey Trump, you hear that? If you and Melania break up, right here you got. I love you, Trump. That's right. You, Trump. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. You were great to talk. Who you voting oh, for boy. this election? Donald Trump. And what's one reason you like Trump? Um, he's gonna help our community. Um, and see, don't vote for Joe Biden because he's gonna make us a um, what is it called? Yeah, socialist country, y'all. A socialist oh, country. That means we ain't gonna have no freedom. It's gonna be a lot of lockdown. Exactly. So vote for Donald Trump. I did this telemarketing. I know. Republican National Committee. Period. Do you like Trump? Yeah, I feel like he did pretty good during his presidency. So you don't mind my hat? No, I don't mind at all. <laughs> so, because I, I mean, I did wear my hat when I approached you. Yeah. Did you see it when I approached I you? I didn't notice it. You notice it? I don't. And now that you see it, like, what are your thoughts? What what comes to mind? Um, it still didn't change me. It's just a hat, and that's something you believe in. I support you. Thank that's you so much. Would you vote for him if he comes back in 2024 against Biden? Yes, I will. Yeah. So you are obviously a person of color like we are. Yeah. And we're supposed to not be Trump supporters. So what I'm is a, it about Trump? You that know what? I'm going to tell you something right now. I was talking to my husband about it earlier. And when I really started educating myself and informing myself on Donald Trump. Wow. One thing that I'm passionate about is human trafficking, that especially of children. And when I really started digging into it, I saw that Trump also is a huge supporter. He donated recently $35 million to support uh, uh, human traffic survivors. Yep. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my brothers and sisters. And he also signed legislation very recently to help people that are being trafficked and that really um struck a chord with my heart and so Amazing. when i started really looking into him i started i'm about action i'm not about words okay yes, i like the fact that he says what's on his mind i like the fact that he doesn't say what he thinks people want to hear from him hmm. and wow yes to me i know everything that he's done for the black community and i stand behind him beautiful 100 i'm not only a trump supporter i am a trump lover and for the longest time, I've been afraid to come out and say that. Well, here we go. Wow. I didn't want to lose. Wow. And I love people that have, you know, that 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 just admits it and 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 finally can feel free now in 2024 to come out and say it, man. Proudly. You know? Because there are tons of Tons now, tons of people in the same exact shoes now. You know? My blackness or my black friends or whatever. But Remember what Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. So wait, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. That's what he said. That's what he said. What an idiot. Unfortunately, as much as I'm not a Trump supporter, he was doing what he was supposed to be doing at the time that he was in office. And if it was for him, we probably would be getting more than just 20000 He lives up to what he said. Biden, on the other hand, he's slacking a bit. So in other words, Trump promises made, promises kept. Biden promises made, promises broken. Unfortunately. Trump or Biden? You know what, though? The one thing I can say about him, he really is good on military. Because yeah. on military. Trump is? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Trump is? He really is. He's like right pro military. Mm -hmm. So I do fuck with that. Oh, but he's crazy. And, he's, and he's anti war, too. Yeah. He's yeah, pro peace. He's got us into how many wars now? Now we're going to go into war. I'm, I'm going to be like on him. You do? He's in, <laughs> he's in a lot more like the stimulus check. So you would just put up a front. Salute our veterans on the channel, man. Love to all our veterans on the channel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Yes, ma'am. Salute to all our veterans, man. Love and condolences to all our fallen soldiers and heroes, man. <clears throat> Nothing but peace and love over here, man. That's what we want. Peace and love, man. Peace and love. America, man.
good old sweet America. Before. Yeah, I you was. were doing what you were supposed to do. I was doing what I was supposed what? to do. What? Yeah. Biden, they, Biden there's shuffled a, your groceries. That's about all he did. There's a belief that black people have to vote for, for Democrats, otherwise they ain't black. I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black, and you ain't black, and you ain't black. That's what Biden said. I'm black. I'm talking about her. No, but I am you're, you're black. Though. Are you half? Yeah, I'm half. When you were telling me that the media is the biggest issue, my gut was telling me that you're a Trump girl. Was I right? You were right. Yeah. So you're a Trump, Trump supporter. I, I am. I, what's, I, what's your ethnic background? I'm just curious. Um, according to what I know, I never did know. Uh, what is it called? The ancestry of ancestry, 23. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I never did that. But for what I know, I'm Native American, Ramapal tribe. Um, African American wow. Wow. and uh, Puerto Rican. So, what kind of feedback do you get about your supporting of Trump? Do you get a lot uh, I'm of negative? I'm supposed to be a Democrat. Right. I'm not supposed to be a Trump supporter, so right. forth. You know, I have my own beliefs on why I agree with the Republican side more than the Democrat side. You know, but that's you know that's just my opinion. You and know? do your friends or family ever give you like pushback oh, for that? Oh, oh my gra my grandmother calls Trump my friend. Really? <laughs> She says, your friend Trump. And I'm like, Grandma, why is that my friend? I don't know him. That's your friend. My grandma. But don't you, yeah. don't you wish Trump was your friend? <laughs> that would be kind of neat. I'm not going to Am I right? Lie. You yeah, probably like it because you're fancy. Yo, thank you. And the last question so, to wrap things up. Yeah. You're a black woman. Oh, am I? I didn't know. I didn't I'm, a, know. I'm, a, I'm a Mexican man. <laughs> What would you, because I get a lot of feedback, but pushback because I'm Mexican I'm an immigrant. Uh, I got it illegally though. What do you say to, to the black community that, and why do you support Donald? Like, what would you say to that as a black woman who supports Trump? I support Trump because I support policy. You know, I was watching a, a show today with Charlemagne and uh, Stephen A. Smith. They had a, a, an interview. And Stephen says that he, he won't vote for Donald Trump. Not because of the policies, but he just doesn't like his personality. And I'm like, that, that's not that's not a reason to not vote for somebody. If right. you like the policies, if it's good for you, if it's good for your pocketbook, if it's good for your money, if it's good for your house and your community, what the hell does a personality has to do with it? So right. like Trump says, what the hell do you have to lose? I love to hear it. Thank you so much. What's your name? Amanya. Nice to meet you. The Conservative Poet. I got a channel. Oh, you got so, one, The Conservative Poet. That's me. Shout it out. How do we Hi. find you? Conservative Poet on YouTube. I grew up in a conservative household. Um, I'm from New York originally, but um, we're here, of course, in Florida. What part of New York? I'm and if y'all can go support her, please do. Please go check her out, man. We love supporting other people on the channel. Y'all know how we run the channel over here, man. We love supporting any, any and everybody, man. Any and everybody, man. Jamaica, Jamaica Queens. Park Hills. 133rd Street. Nice. <laughs> Trump is just like, he's a, he's a man. He's a man. He has he makes the money. He knows how to call the shot. He's a real man. He's a real man. Yeah. <laughs> Trump is a real man. I don't, Trump is, Trump is the man. <laughs> I was raised right. I was raised right. A real man. A real man. Are you a Trump girl? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, so if you could describe 2021 in one word, what would it be? Whoa, 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 now, uh, y'all keep, come on now, <laughs> I'm human just like y'all now, okay, <laughs> oh, I told you, this thing gets spicy, it gets real hot in here real quick. I told you we riding and the truck got no AC. The AC unit is gone in the truck. We got to roll the windows down. Oh, Trump, like no way. There's no way. Yeah, nobody else. Is and what would you say to a black person that says Trump is racist and therefore you are white adjacent? <laughs> I would say that they need to like actually pay attention to what he's talking about and understand that if you actually want to become successful as far as money in this country, Democrats are not who you want to vote for because obviously they're replacing, they're replacing you with, with illegals. Right. They're, they're telling you to your face they're replacing you with illegal. So I don't right. understand how you can still say, oh, Democrats are dead enough. No, they are literally replacing you. They're giving them housing in New York. They're giving them housing everywhere else here. They're giving them $10,000 gift cards. Yep. But when you need aid, the state says, sorry, you make too much money. You're yep. over the threshold by 500 bucks yep. a year. Yep. And we're not gonna help you. So if you starve, right. you starve, we don't care. So I don't understand how you pay taxes, but they don't, but you know, you're not getting help and you're gonna still vote for somebody who's gonna give your taxes to somebody else. You get a free truck. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Why do you like Trump? Because he's a smart man. You want him, you want him back? We shouldn't let him go. We need him back, don't we? Well, yeah. Are you going to vote for him next election? Mm -hmm. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you.
That's right. God bless you. Give us to her too. Free Trump flag. <laughs> That's right. God bless. What'd you say? I love that man. Who's that man? Trump. You love Trump? Yes. I love him. You gonna vote for him? God bless you. Doesn't that put a smile on you guys' face, man? Wow. This video has been amazing. Amazing. We have an election coming up in a year and a half, less. It's, good. it's looking like Trump versus Biden once again. It's looking like it's going to be that way. So as of right now, if the election were to happen, who do you think you'd be leaning towards? Trump. Really? Yes. You said that with so much confidence. Would you date a guy that supports Trump? Would you date a girl that supports Trump? No. I mean... Wow. What? So you're a little more reminded about it. I mean, that's... It's just, it's she might be a Trump supporter, bro. She might be a... Well, first of all, you voted for Joe Biden. I voted for Joe Biden, but you know what? He's f***ing up. I don't know how, but all the black communities tell me, and I think I want Trump in office. Really? The yellow man. I mean, the orange man. Next year, I will vote for Trump. In 2024, you mean? Uh, somebody said Cheeto Puff. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all, man, with these names, I tell you, man, Cheeto Puff. I think that was probably the one of the worst ones we've heard, and slash funny, funniest ones we've heard. Oh man, they talking about the Cheeto Puff man on the bag. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. Oh. 2024. God bless Trump. God bless Trump. When did you guys put that sign up? You said when did we put it up? Yeah. Uh, I think like two years ago. I think we put it up two years ago. You didn't have that up when Trump was president, right? So that's probably Joe Biden's fault. Right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trump is all about the money, the business. Yeah, business. You know, he's bringing money to the America, and that's what we need. America is suffering, and Trump is. America first. Wow, man. What do y'all think of that, man? Comment down below, you guys. That was amazing, man. What a video. You guys sent me some amazing things, and uh, I know there's some of y'all that have been spamming me, like, man, Rick, check out some of my videos. Check out, I promise I'm gonna be getting to a lot of y'all stuff, and if not, just send it to me again. Um, we are responding back to so many beautiful patriots, so many amazing people in the email, my DMs, the Discord chat, on on, on other platforms that y'all uh, messaged me on. So we are are booming over here, man. The volume is crazy, you know, but I love you guys, man. And we're going to continue to bring amazing content. We're going to continue to bring amazing updates. And these next five months are going to get even spicier. But I love you guys. Y'all spread the love, man. Spread the love. We are living in some dark, dark times. God bless you all and your families. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.